Hello, and welcome to the devotional for the week of prayer. Our subject this week is prayer, and I will be reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it from me, the voice of Paul. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest in me. Paul experienced what every faithful believer experiences from time to time, a prayer request that goes unanswered. It was evidently not God's will to remove the thorn from his side. A prayer request is just that. It's a request and not a demand. Asking the Lord for anything will be answered according to his divine will for our lives. Some prayers do go unanswered. It is, or seemingly so, it is a reality of the divine human relationship. Centuries earlier, King David experienced a denied request also. David, like us when we pray, was disappointed, but that was no indication of the value of praying to the Lord, the Lord whom he loved, the Lord whom we love and trust. David's one request was that the life of the child that he and Bathsheba uh, brought forth, the Bathsheba with whom he committed adultery, um, he asked that the child's life might be spared. The child died according uh, to the divine will for that child's life. Again, King David asked the Lord to allow him to build a temple of worship uh, to, to house the ark and a place where God would would live. Again, the Lord denied the request, citing King David had too much blood on his hands. The Lord instead, though, allowed David's son Solomon, whom he also had with Bathsheba, to build the, tempest, the temple, a magnificent structure. And there are other examples. Moses was denied entry into the promised land because he disobeyed the Lord's instruction on how to provide water to the wilderness sojourners. Moses struck the rock, but the Lord had asked him to speak to the rock. The God wanted the, the children of Israel to see his glory and his power through Moses. And we learn a profound lesson from our Lord Jesus in Gethsemane. He too yielded to the Father's will concerning the cup Jesus had to drink um, for his, to complete his mission. But God's no does not mean the believer has lost favor or is out of grace with him. To the contrary, the Lord has something greater. The apostle Paul experienced a deep union with the Lord by God's grace. God granted King David to lead the Israelites into a long period of peace. And Moses appeared with Elijah on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus, glory to God, and the Lord Jesus Christ following the divine will, is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty in heaven. Yes, God's no may be tough to take, but in the end, the Lord God has something better for believers who yield to his divine will and accept it. Thus, it would be in order to pray. Thy will be done. Amen.